Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. For those that are new here, my name is Talha from Talha Invests and today I've got an update on Jibo stock through a message from the CEO Patrick Grubber who talks about upcoming projects and their financial position right now. Anyway guys, let me play the clip for you guys right now. Patrick, great to see you. How are you? Doing well, thanks. How are you doing? I'm good. Thanks for asking. Patrick, the company closed the financing that you have been talking about to me for the past few weeks, $321 million. How does that feel? And just remind us what you'll use it towards. Sure. So you think about that money raise, you know, it's pretty interesting. And I like the way our stock prices responded. Uh, but yeah, we now have, get this, you know, we're out of debt. That's a change from, from a while ago, right? And then and, uh, no debt. And we have about $530 million of cash in the balance sheet. That's terrific. You know why? Is because I can self-fund the equity of my net zero one plant that we've talked about. And so that's a huge deal. It de-risks that whole, that whole side of it. It fundamentally de-risks it. It's a big deal, right? And now we do have people who are strategics who want to invest with us, but now it changes the dynamic even at the negotiating table. And so it's complete latitude. We also have enough, enough cash in the balance sheet to fund a big portion of our net zero two plant, and I have the money to do the development, and I have the money to do my RNG project. So it's a fundamentally different game to play. And I think, you know, it's just, it's amazing. And uh, we're in a terrific position and we're in a sweet spot in the marketplace and the wind is at our back. The government policies are going our direction. Carbon value looks like it's increasing. We're in a good spot, I think. Yeah, you mentioned the stock price. You were trading at around a dollar eighty back in December. Now, now well over twelve dollars. I mean, do you think investors are now truly understanding the story? They're learning. They're hearing our story. We're getting more people are hearing, and it. it resonates. I mean, think about it. Net zero fuels. We can do a net zero emissions at the tailpipe. That's a story people were unaware of. The short version of what we do is we capture renewable energy and transform it into liquids. Well, what about these liquids? Well, you can use them as fuels, gasoline and jet fuel, and when burned, net zero emissions across, and we can prove it. That's pretty interesting for people. It's a story they haven't heard, and it's complementary to the EV story that everyone has heard about, right? Because EV is going to take time to develop. Well, good. We got other solutions that will help, and so we're going to be part of the solution. It makes sense, and, uh, and I think that as far as our stock price goes, of course, I think we're still undervalued. Of course, I do, and, and but think about it. We're going to build these big plants. I can see our net zero plant, net zero one is 45 million gallons with 360 plus million pounds of, of protein being sold. That's what we would build, right? But we have line of sight for another one of those and maybe another one after that and another one after that. And so you start adding that up and it's like, you know what? Our uh, looks like people haven't considered our future completely yet, even at this price. So now that you do have all this capital, what are kind of the next immediate steps? Number one is to complete the engineering. It's that we, we refer to as feed engineering, front end loading engineering. And, and we have to complete that. That'll take till December or, you know, middle of December or something. And then that gives us the final capital cost that we deploy against. We've already working on arranging the debt financing through Citigroup. They're in great shape on that front. We have the equity, as I said, we may bring additional strategic partners in, but it's at, we'll do it under uh, favorable terms because I don't need their money as compared to before. And, uh, and then we also, we continue, we will continue to get contracts from customers. We have a pretty good pipeline. It's robust and the interest is increasing because people believe and strongly believe that they will be held accountable for carbon footprints. And there aren't that many solutions as to how to solve it. Uh, so we're part of that. So that's increasing. And that leads us then, you know, we'll be talking about net zero two, where it might be located, who might be the customers and stuff like that. And then we have this RNG project. This RNG project is, a, it, we don't talk much about it yet because I want to bake it fully first and then tell people about it, but I'd expect to get something start under construction this year. Good to hear. Well, congrats on the capital raise and we're looking for, forward to following your achievements here, Patrick. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. We're in a good spot. So guys, Patrick Grubber, the CEO of Jivo, just said that they have enough cash in the um, in the bank to fund their upcoming project. That's really good. That means that they won't be taking any more debt. They are debt-free as well. And 
they have upcoming projects this year and they may even um, build another project through this throughout this year so good stuff from Jivo good stuff from the CEO and hopefully we'll see more anyways guys thank you so much for watching if you guys are new to the channel please drop a like and sub we are 33 subs strong 34 subs actually my bad and um, thanks so much for all of you guys that have subscribed to the channel it really means a lot anyways guys I'll see you in the next video peace